Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Isaac Asimov, born January 2, 1920, Petrovici, Russia, died April 6, 1992, New York, New York, US, was an American author and biochemist, a highly successful and prolific writer of science fiction and of science books for the layperson. He wrote or edited about 500 volumes, of which the most famous are those in the Foundation and Robot series. Learn about Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics Learn about Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics A discussion of Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics See all videos for this article Asimov, Isaac Asimov Isaac Isaac Asimov, 1965. Asimov was brought to the United States at age three. He grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and graduated from Columbia University in 1939. During World War II, he worked at the Naval Aviation Experimental Station in Philadelphia along with science fiction authors Robert Heinlein and L. Sprague de Camp. After the war, he took a PhD in chemistry from Columbia in 1948. He then joined the faculty of Boston University, with which he remained associated thereafter. Asimov began contributing stories to science fiction magazines in 1939. He sold his first story, Marooned Off Vesta, to Amazing Stories, but he was most closely associated with Astounding Science Fiction and its editor, John W. Campbell, Jr., who became a mentor to Asimov. Nightfall, 1941 about a planet in a multiple star system that only experiences darkness for one night every 2049 years, brought him to the front rank of science fiction writers and is regarded as one of the genre's greatest short stories. In 1940 Simo began writing his robot stories, later collected in I, Robot, 1950. The Encyclopedists, 1942, was the beginning of Asimov's popular foundation series. Loosely modeled on the fall of the Roman Empire, the Foundation series begins in the last days of the Galactic Empire. Harry Seldon devises a discipline, psychohistory, that allows prediction of future historical currents. He sets into motion a plan to reduce the predicted 30,000-year Galactic Dark Ages to 1,000 years by gathering the brightest minds on the planet Terminus to form the foundation of a new Galactic Empire. Selden also establishes a mysterious second foundation in an unknown location. The foundation struggles to keep civilization alive, while, at moments of acute crisis predicted by psychohistory, recordings of the long-dead Selden dispense advice. The stories, written between 1942 and 1949, were collected as the Foundation Trilogy, Foundation, 1951, Foundation and Empire, 1952, and Second Foundation, 1953. The trilogy won a special Hugo Award in 1966 for Best Science Fiction Series of All Time. Asimov's first novels, Pebble in the Sky, 1950, The Stars, Like Dust, 1951, and The Currents of Space, 1952, were set during and before the Galactic Empire but had no relation to the Foundation series. Under the pseudonym Paul French, he wrote the Children's Lucky Star series, 1952-58, each volume of which took place on a different world of the solar system. He returned to the positronic robots with two novels that blended mystery with science fiction. 3,000 years hence. Humanity is divided between those who live on Earth in overpopulated underground cities and the wealthy spaces, who live on worlds around nearby stars. The human policeman Lee Hay Bailey and the spacer humaniform robot detective are. Daniel Oliver solved murders in New York City in the Caves of Steel, 1954, and on a spacer planet in the Naked Sun, 1957. During the 1950s, Asimov also wrote some of his finest short stories, The Martian Way, 1952, an allegory about McCarthyism, The Dead Past, 
1956, about a device that can see into history, and The Ugly Little Boy, 1958, original title Last Born, about a nurse's attachment to a Neanderthal child accidentally brought forward to the future. In the late 1950s, Asimov turned from science fiction to concentrate more on non-fiction writing. From 1958 to 1991, he wrote a monthly column about science for the magazine of fantasy and science fiction, which received a special Hugo Award in 1963. Much of his non-fiction writing was on various topics in science, written with lucidity and humor, ranging from chemistry, the chemicals of life, 1954, to physics, the neutrino, 1975, to biology, the human brain. 1964. He even wrote on literature, A Simov's Guide to Shakespeare, 2 volume, 1970, and Religion, A Simov's Guide to the Bible, 2 volume, 1968-69. A Simov returned to science fiction with The Gods Themselves, 1972. Winner of the Hugo and Nebula Awards, concerned contact with advanced aliens from a parallel universe. The Bicentennial Man, 1976, Hugo and Nebula for Best Novelette. About a robot's quest to become human is one of Asimov's most beloved short stories. In the 1980s, Asimov tied together the Robot, Empire, and Foundation series in the same fictional universe. The characters in Foundation's Edge, 1982, Hugo Award for Best Novel, begin to suspect that a third. Concealed power has emerged in the galaxy that is even more powerful than the two foundations. Bailey and Olivor reunited in The Robots of Dawn, 1983, in which they investigate the destruction of a robot identical to Olivor. In Robots and Empire, 1985, set 200 years after Bailey's death, Olivor battles a threat to humanity that culminates in the diaspora from Earth that leads to the Galactic Empire. Foundation and Earth, 1986, centers on a search for the forgotten planet Earth and how its early history, as depicted in the robot series, affected the galaxy's history. Two prequels to the Foundation trilogy, Prelude to Foundation, 1988, and Forward the Foundation, 1993. A Simo's final novel, follow Harry Seldon's development of psychohistory and the Foundation plan. Among Asimov's late novels were expansions of previous short stories, written with Robert Silverbrook, such as Nightfall, 1990, and Child of Time, 1991, based on The Ugly Little Boy. He published three volumes of autobiography, In Memory Yet Green, the autobiography of Isaac Asimov, 1920-1954-1979, in Joy Still Felt, dot the autobiography of Isaac Asimov. 1954-1978-1980, and I, Asimov, The Memoir, 1994, Hugo Award for Best Non-Fiction Book.